Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a quick answer to a question I've had a few times. It uh, kind of goes with the videos I made last week that dealt with antivirus software and computer security. But of course, you also can ask the question, what if I do have malware or ransomware a uh, keylogger, something, a virus of some sort on my PC. How do I clean that? How can it be cleaned? Well, it depends on what you have. And that is the most important uh, factor that will decide how easy it is to clean or not. And um, remember also that a lot of viruses and malware actually invite friends so they will open up ports in the firewall to be able to connect and do things that you usually don't um, your computer doesn't do uh, or it will simply download packages and instead of one you got two or five or ten or twenty different malware installed one of the things that you could do in uh, the first things you can try is do a scan. If you are infected by something very basic, a quick scan, for example, from Windows Security or whatever antivirus you use might be enough. But most of the time, a real um, throughout scan will be the best. So doing a full scan might be the best option. And you'll see what it finds and what it detects. But keep in mind that all antivirus miss on some, you know, on some viruses. All antivirus will actually go over a file without even detecting it is. Um, there is no such thing as a great antivirus. They all have flaws and they all have things they don't detect. That is the straight dope of antivirus. That's why I always say paying for antivirus is useless. Now, depending on what you have, you might be able to clean it. If it's something very basic, the options to remove the threat might be enough, and you might have your PC coming back to normal, and it might be okay. Now, one of the things that you have to understand is that there is no way of knowing you're completely clean. There is no way really to see if all is all right and that nothing is left and that it didn't change some of the settings that might be a problem, a security threat in the future. And that the only thing you could do is a clean install. In general, every time I saw clients as a tech guy that had viruses and that they didn't have a lot of, of things and it was easy to back up and easy to just restart, I would always say, best thing to do, we'll, re re we'll do a clean install of Windows from scratch. It's the only way you are sure that a virus is gone. Because you actually erase a hard drive and reinstall a fresh copy of Windows. You know there's no viruses there. Um, and that is your sure way and the only real good way of knowing that you're totally clean. Anybody that will tell you, oh, no, no, I'm good, I'm going to clean your computer and you're going to be okay, is lying because it is impossible to do a 100% clean and make sure everything's all right. You, the best thing to do, what I will recommend most of the time for anybody is like, uh, just reinstall Windows. But don't keep any files. Reinstall Windows. Make sure that you erase the hard drive and reinstall from scratch. Not keeping anything on your hard drive because if you keep the files if you keep the folders it might still linger there it might still be able to reactivate from a place where it downloaded and it stayed a clean install scratch from scratch is the best bet the only way you know you'll be safe after infection so that's pretty much the way you deal with antivirus and you deal with viruses and malware on a pc if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.